Hello and welcome to today's session. So today we're going to talk about how to get started with um, the own cloud server and only office um, using the Univention appliance. All right, so this is what we are about to cover in the next couple of minutes. So um, I will tell you something about the difference about the own cloud server and the enterprise edition. Um, guide you through the, the different own cloud installation options and uh, which option is good for for which um, for which setup and um, then I will guide you through the steps that um, you need to take in order to get started with own cloud and only office um, using um, the Univention appliance yes and then after that of course we will go through the demo so I will show you um, how to do it and walk you through. All right, so let's get started. So um, what's the difference between the own cloud server and the enterprise edition? So um, as you can see here, the own cloud server and, and sometimes it's also called the own cloud community edition is um, yeah, it's freely available. available. Um, you can download it, you can install it and, and you can do um, and you can use it as, as for many users as you want um, and, and change stuff and, and, and do all the good things here. Um, then there's something that we refer to as um, own cloud enterprise apps. So these are things um, that are commonly used by, um, by enterprises, something like um, an integration into Windows Network Drive, something like an integration into, into SharePoint um, or the um, complete auditing features. So things that are mostly needed by, by enterprises. Um, so what we do here um, is we, we use the own cloud server, so the community edition, so to say, um, and enhance it with certain um, enterprise apps and um, then we get the own cloud enterprise edition. So this means that um, so the core for the enterprise edition and the, the own cloud server or community edition um, is always um, the same. Um, in order to, to get the enterprise edition, we just install um, yeah, a couple of apps that provide features um, commonly needed by enterprises. Okay, and in today's session, um, we will focus on the installation of the own cloud server. So and, um, we will have um, another session uh, later on where we explain how to, um, yeah, how to get um, the enterprise trial started um, when you have already a um, running own cloud server. Okay, so next topic here, um, the different own cloud installation options. So there are several ways um, how to get started with own cloud. So the most common way um, of installing own cloud is, is using the tarballs that um, we provide on our website. Um, yeah, so it, these these different installation options have different um, different aims, so to say. So if you if you are a large organization and you need to be able to to scale your environment to a couple of thousand users. Um, you want to use the table because um, you have the most control about um, the different parts. About the um, you can you can scale to different application servers. You can let scale the database and then stuff like that. Um, then we have something else that's the Univention appliance. So the Univention appliance is an easy and automated um, way to get started with own cloud and. Um, it's it's aimed for um, yeah so for for non technical users and um, it's also often used in, in POC setups because you don't need to um, if you just wanna if you just wanna try the web interface and, and see how it looks and if people like it and stuff like that you just you don't want um, to um, to invest a lot of time and to, to reading the docs and stuff you just want to get it um, up and running and that's a perfect fit for the univention appliance and then we have the third option um, so these are docker containers so we provide um, docker containers that we create and that we test and um, and um, yeah so this is um, so more and more companies or more and more people ask us for that 
and um, we are seeing f the first customers um, starting to get in, in, in production with Docker containers. Um, so, but that's um, yeah, that's still um, some way to go in the industry. So, not every every customer is um, is ready to um, to run own cloud uh, in a Dockerized um, environment. So the most common installation um, option here is still the the installation with the tarball when it comes to production environments. If you just want to um, get it up and running and test some things here, um, you're good to go with the Univention appliance. Even if you if you want to um, if you run it in, in production with let's say up to um, three three hundred users or so, um, even more um, depends on the use case. Um, you're you're good to go with the Univention appliance and it helps you a lot. Um, hiding or automating um, some of the complexity of, of managing the infrastructure, for example. Okay, so what are the steps you need to take in order to get started with own cloud and only office? Um, yeah, of course, first you need some kind of um, virtualization environment. Um, in this case, I use um, VirtualBox and um, then you just need to download the the, um, the correct image for your virtualizer. So I posted the link here. Um, I will show you the web page um, in a second. Um, and then you need to import it, um, go through the installation guide. And after that, we have to do some, yeah, some DNS configuration and, um, and, 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 and using HTTPS in this case, in order to make sure that only Office works properly. All right. So this is that it for the introduction. Now we can get started. Okay, so this is the um, web page that was linked in my presentation. And yeah, here you can see that you have several options here, which, which image you, you want to download um, depending on the hypervisor you use. Uh, I said before, I'm using VirtualBox for that. So I can just click on VirtualBox and download that thing. Um, but I already that done that and I prepared that. So I just uh, have it here on my on my desktop. So I just need to click um, to double click on that, and it should open up my VirtualBox, and I can pull it up here. And as you can see, I don't need to do um, to do anything here. I can just click on Import and need to agree to the license here and then we'll start to to import my Univention appliance all right so yeah this takes some time and um, I will be back as soon as this is ready okay so the import has finished successfully so next thing we need to do is we need to start the appliance so clicking on start, so it's opening up here in separate window. And yeah, this typically takes some time here. All right, so yeah at the end um when the startup is finished so we end up here so we just need to configure some things here so set the localization settings and um yeah that's basically it so click on next then it um we need to make sure that um we use and so in this case i use um, dhcp um so i will receive an ip address and all the other stuff here um from my network automatically. So I just need to click on next and this takes some time to, to configure here. All right, so this is the next stuff here, um, the domain setup. So we have three options here. Um, so first option is um, to manage users and permissions directly on this system. So um, the Univention appliance will therefore um, create um, a new domain and um, the, the, the user management will be handled locally on this system here. 
the other thing if you already have um, a UCS domain and, and UCS setups here you can join an existing domain and if you want to um, to join the an, an existing Microsoft Active Directory domain so if you using Microsoft Active Directory you can also do that with the Univention appliance um, if you choose um, this option here all right, but in this case, um, as this is only um, to yeah test system and um, um, and I don't need the other options here, so I will manage users and permissions locally on this system. Okay, so as a next step, we need to configure some account information. So we need to enter an organization name. So I pick home cloud, and we need to enter an email address. Um, this is important that this is a valid email address because you will get um, a Univention um, license sent to that email address that you will need in order to activate that appliance. Okay, and of course you need to set a password for the administrator user in order to log into the um, Univention um, console. Okay, click next. Yeah, and then some host settings. So qualified domain name, LDAP base. Um, this is fine for me. And I just need to click on next. And then we get um, yeah some uh, kind of summary here, um, what we choose during the configuration here. And we can also choose to update the system after the setup. And um, then we just need to click on configure system and then the configuration of the appliance starts. This um, will also take some time and um, yeah, I will get back as soon as this is ready. Okay, so now the Univention setup has finished successfully and we can proceed. So I click on finish here and he needs to restart some components again. And now he asks me, to go to my browser and to enter this um, URL in order to access the Univention um, interface. All right, so I already typed in the valid IP address uh, using HTTPS. So, and as we're not using any, uh, so if we're not using, we're using self-signed SSL certificates and therefore he's complaining about um, complaining about the connection, but um, I'm trusting that thing. Anyway, so next thing is that we need to, to upload um, the license file. All right, so I've done that and um, now we are good to go. So I just need to click on finish and we can see the only office interface. And now we can also read text here all right okay so here's some explanation um, what to do next um, but you can read that carefully if you want um, but I will just check if own cloud is up and running so I just click on clicked on the own cloud icon here and the username password by default is always own cloud own cloud so and I go in there and as you can see this is my, um, I have a, have a running, up and running own cloud setup. And if we go to the settings page, we can also see that there is already the only office app um, installed and own cloud um, is configured to reach the document editing service um, via this name here. So what we need to do next is we need to make sure that own cloud can reach the only office document server um, via this um, via this um, um, domain name, so to say. All right, so I will copy that domain name, and um, so I don't have so I don't have um, a, yeah, a proper DNS setup here running locally. So I will just add that um, that part here to my etc hosts file. So I will open up my my terminal. Okay, so this is my host file. So I will add I will add the IP address of the Univention appliance. I can see it in the URL on top 
the address field of my browser, will add um, the IP address and I will paste in the domain name um, yeah, I just found in the in the OnlyOffice app configuration. Yeah. All right, so I just need to save that here, and then we are good to go. All right, so um, now I should be able to reach my own cloud installation using um, this URL. So we will try that here very quick. Slash own cloud, hit enter. And I will be redirected to the own cloud as I'm already logged in in that um, browser here. I don't, there was no need to um, authenticate myself again. Okay, so now I should be able to create a document with OnlyOffice, call it new doc. And it opens up OnlyOffice. And now I can, yeah, put some stuff in here. Yeah, and something like only Office rocks. All right, so yeah, this is it for now. Um, I hope you um, this session was was valuable to you, and um, it helps you a bit um, in setting up um, the own cloud Univention appliance. And um, yes, would please stay tuned and um, have a look at our our other sessions. Thank you. Bye bye.